If you ever hosted an online presentation, you can probably relate to the following scenario. You're in the middle of your presentation and all of a sudden you realize, I can't keep up with the chat box. I can't make sure that my slides are advancing. I don't understand why the audio is not matching up with the video. I can't find out who is whose dog is barking in the background and do all that and then focus on my audience and give a good presentation too. It's not possible. You know what? You're absolutely right. It's not possible, especially if you're new to the online presenting game. That's why you should heed today's tip. It's simply this, get a co-host. Yeah, that's it, get a co-host. A co-host can take some of those side tasks off your plate. For example, that person can just watch the chat box and allow you to focus on your presentation. That person might be able to help you with your slides, although I prefer to handle the slides myself when I'm the presenter because I like to advance them at my pace in case I get side thoughts or I have to answer a question from the chat box. The other, your co-host can also help determine maybe whose dog is barking in the background and mute that person so you don't have to mute everyone on the call if you've got more of an open forum. That individual can also keep an eye on the audience for you and send you some quick text to let you know, hey, you may be losing them. Uh, some of the people are checking out. Uh, maybe uh, there's some hands raised, whatever. They, that person can, can help you with a lot of these tasks. There's a secondary benefit to a co-host. Remember in the last tip, we talked about the talking head syndrome. You don't wanna just be a, a head talking to them for the whole time. Well, in this case, two talking heads are better than one you get a different voice that's involved, different perspective, and visually, it's a change of pace. Now, not every co-host wants to be on camera that much. Sometimes they're more technical oriented. They'll keep an eye on the chat box, maybe uh, interrupt you just with voice to say, hey, so-and-so's got a question. Uh, that person might help with the annoying dog barking in the background of the person who's talking on the phone. Uh, they might help with that but the co-host can provide another element, a change of pace that keeps the audience engaged and keeps it lively. Bottom line is though, the co-host will help you do what is most important. And that is to focus on your presentation and the message that you're there to give your audience. Get yourself a co-host. See you in tip number three. By the way, if you're looking for an experienced co-host for your upcoming online event, let's talk. I have given over 500 online presentations, workshops, coaching sessions, and hosting of webinar events. I have a lot of experience gone through a lot of the trials and tribulations, and I might be able to save your organization a lot of time, effort, and money. Feel free to contact me, Mike at Speaking CPR. Look forward to talking with you soon.